But hey, you know what? We're going to be positive. We're going to start the positivity today um, to check out uh, this rumor coming from WCCF Tech. Uh, it was coming from a wide range of articles, actually. Uh, but we're talking about the Ryzen 3 3300X and the Ryzen 3 3100, which look to be budget $100 to $150 quad core CPUs that boost up to 4.3 gigahertz. Now, the first thing that people are thinking with this is like, okay, there's already third gen Ryzen on Ryzen 3. Technically, no, there are the APUs, which are like the 30, 200g and the 3400g but those are based on zen plus yeah zen plus so they're based on the ryzen 2000 series processors so they're not technically third gen ryzen which has the increased ipc and everything so um that is something to consider these are going to be based on the same thing that the ryzen 5 3600 is based on so that could be really cool the ipc on those are awesome for the money previously the cheapest one you could get was the ryzen 5 3600 um, but this is going to be something that comes in at like 100 150 and honestly might be the meta budget processor if you want that ipc now the main thing that i have to say about this is the price point if these come in at these respective price points the 3100 at about 109 dollars and the 3300x about 139 dollars it's going to be interesting because these are four core eight thread but for 139 dollars or sometimes less you can get a 2600 for six cores and 12 threads yes it's going to have less ipc but it'll be interesting to see what games benefit from this ipc and lesser core count compared to a higher core count cpu like the 2600 with six cores and 12 threads or the 1600 af with uh six cores and 12 threads that but that but has that lower ipc so I can see this being good for esports titles. We got Valorant coming out. We got people still playing Fortnite. Um, I know games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare would actually not perform nearly as well with this uh, type of CPU because it is very thread dependent. Um, so this could be a situation where if you it, it, you really got to decide what games you're playing nowadays, a lot of games are really benefiting from six cores and 12 thread. That's going to be interesting. Is the 3100 versus a 2600 a good buy? Is the... Um, extra IPC that you're going to be getting from the 3100 going to be um, worth going for if you play mainly esports titles. That's going to be the interesting thing. So the 1200 AF, from what I've heard, the 1200 AF was not going to go international. It's going to be another one of those situations like the 3500 where it was like China only. I don't know if it's going to be China or if it's going to be another region. I've, been, I've heard people talking about trying to get them out of the UK, but there's none of them in the US. So I don't see that becoming an international thing, unfortunately. Anyways, um, my main deciding factor here is if this clock speed difference is going to make up for the lack of cores that you can get from older processors which in most cases if you're playing mainly esports titles yes it will be more than worth it you could probably get like a 3300x it boosts up the 4.3 gigahertz 65 watts 140 dollars you could build a 500 dollars gaming pc something like a 1650 super and the 3300x and it probably will perform better in gaming compared to something like a 2600 or 1600 af and that same graphics card so you have a better chance at getting a really solid high refresh rate 140 over hertz gaming thing for esports titles at like 500 bucks or below so this could definitely be a good option is this going to be something that i can recommend honestly we'll definitely do a budget build if these do exist and they do come out um, especially if they do come with b550 motherboards which is also uh the the good pairing that people are going to be looking for with this but honestly it probably unless the b550 boards come in at a like 60 to 100 dollar price point you're probably still gonna be going b450 with these guys because b450 boards go down to like 60 bucks right now um, I don't know if a B550, unless it comes with PCI Gen 4, will actually be worth it. I don't know, man. Ultimately, we'll see how it goes.